Welcome to the Joyous Kingdom. In today's video, we're going to be talking about some of the key signs I look for when I feel like it might be time to start buying back into projects because we're at, either at the cusp of a bull run or we're at a moment in the market where blue chips are starting to pump. So this is going to be a super important four minutes of fun episode. If you've been enjoying the consistent uploads, subscribe to the channel, join the kingdom, smash the thumbs up button. I'll give you a like button back if you like it. I appreciate it. It is the currency of the YouTube ecosystem. So I appreciate you guys always smashing the like button. If you're not already following me on Twitter, if you're not in my Discord down below in the description, you are only hurting yourself. If you want to get three free stocks, three free, free stocks, use my Weeble link down below in the description. It is a trading stocks and crypto platform. It's dope. You always should have extra, you know, trading apps on your phone in case Coinbase or Voyager doesn't work. Happens all the time. As you guys know, the goal of this channel is to instill the knowledge and confidence it's going to take to navigate this metaverse on your own one day. So that sounds good to you. Let's get into the video. For any companies who want to get in contact with me, just email me at joyjofficial at gmail.com. Timer starting now. So, how to know when an NFT bull run is coming or when it's time to start buying up some of those stronger mid-tier blue chips slash you know ultra blue chips if you can afford it. What I look for is when projects start to randomly pump for no reason. And, you know, and this is by the way, if you're in a bear if you're in a bear market like right now. So currently right now, we're in a moment where I'm like, you know what? Now's a decent time to start buying because projects are pumping out of nowhere randomly. Random projects, by the way, not just blue chips. Random shit. Shit that should not be pumping is pumping for no reason. Um, there's volume in certain projects. There's projects that are in the mid-tier blue chip category that are performing very well. You know, and they're actually building, they're actually launching things during a bear market and seeing good return. People are getting excited again. You can feel the energy coming back into the into the ecosystem of nfts right and i know what people think when there's a like right now currently crypto's pumping a little bit so people are saying oh shit if crypto's pumping that means nfts are dumping now here's the difference crypto and, and crypto and nfts were dumping for a while coexisting going downhill right and so i don't think it's too crazy to think well just because crypto goes up doesn't mean nfts are going to go up here's the thing crypto's been in a downward spiral for the past few months right it's been a long time since we've seen green NFTs, likewise, just for a month though, we've seen a lot of downwards trajectories. What I've noticed is that as crypto started to get more belief, you know, and now we're in greed again, we're in the green zone. So people are starting to buy up again because they feel like the money is going to keep going up, right? I'm feeling the belief coming back in NFTs and crypto a little bit because we've been so bearish for so long and LA Trade says this all the time. Once you start to see everyone getting bearish, everyone's saying it's over everybody's saying we're on the cusp of an nft you know winter that's when you're like okay very rarely are the masses ever fucking right in fact they're almost never right so when you start to feel it in yourself that you know what this shit just can't get it, it's this is awful this is so so bad that's when you say oh shit this is usually when the when the market reverses you know that's usually when a pump is kind of due so yeah i look for for projects that are pumping randomly um but the main thing is going to be volume in blue chips. You know, when people start to buy up blue chips again, that's when you're like, okay, there's motherfuckers with a lot of money because blue chips are more expensive and they're investing their money thinking, hey, I think this might be a good time to buy. This is a good buying opportunity. And when that happens, the craziest thing about this is there's a lot of people who are in this space who haven't been here long. And I'm here to tell you right now, I've been here since the, uh, I've been here since kind of the beginning of the, of the NFT craze in 2021. What I can tell you is you will never know at the beginning of a bull run or a bear run that you're in it until it's kind of like a week in, you know, so you're going to wake up one day and say, I think we're in a bull run and we're going to have been in a bull run for a week and you're going to have missed all the best deals to buy because you can make money in a bull run, in a bull market. If you're buying and selling in a bull market, you can make money, but you can get fucking rich if you buy in the bear and buy and then sell in the bull. You can literally get rich. You can turn two grand into 50K. Like that's a thing if you buy in the bear market. The problem is people wait too long in the bear market because they say, well, I'm going to buy, uh, I'm going to buy that project once we get into a bear market. And then we get into a bear market and you say, well, I don't know if that project's going to make it. It's like, what? what? What are you doing? You know, th this is the clearance. This is when you're supposed to buy because when it comes back, you're looking at an easy two, three X just to get back to normal prices. And then on top of that, we're in the next bull run, meaning it's probably going to build on that. This is the time to be buying. So we're in a position in the market where, yes, we could go up or down from here. But the thing is, fam, 
man, we, we, we're pretty low right now in NFTs. And honestly, I'm seeing a lot of bullish signs for NFTs. I know April is a good month for crypto in general, but just because it's been good in the past does not mean it will be good this year. We don't know what's going to happen. You can look at numbers. You can look at statistics to help you. But in general, you can never exactly time the bottom. You never will time the top. Guaranteed you'll never time the top unless it's pure luck. So I just want you guys to know when you make a decision, make sure it's backed up by research and then make your investments with conviction and hold strong. I know emotions are hard to deal with. You know, you buy something and it immediately goes down. You're like, fuck, I should have held. I should have helped. But it's like you wouldn't have known that, you know, and if it had gone up, you would have been like, fuck, yeah, I bought the bottom. I'm so smart. And the reality is dumb luck, dude. There's there's a billion different things that affect the market. Right now, we're in a time where uncertainty is the name of the game. And honestly, a lot of people are just getting unlucky and a lot of people are just getting lucky. And that's just the reality of the situation. So we're going to end this four minutes of fun episode. Right now, I'm sure the timer ended exactly at four minutes. We've been killing it with that. Writing at, right at four minutes every single time. It's been incredible. I hope you've been enjoying these videos. Subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any more. Click the like button. Smash that like button for me. I appreciate you guys doing that. If you're not already following me on Twitter, if you're not in my Discord down below the description, I really I really just don't. What are, you, what are you doing? You know, and get your three free socks. Use my Weeble link. Get your three free socks. It helps me out. You get free money. I just don't know how you could lose here. If you want to see more of me around, I click on one of these boxes on the other side of me. And until next time, continue on your joyage. Continue to learn. And be grateful you're alive watching this video.